Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Ron, and I'm here through Arts for All. I'm here to do some art with you today, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at two pieces of artwork. One is called Laws of Chance by Jean Arp. The other one is called Beat the Whites with the Red Wedge by Lazar Lazitsky. I want you to look closely at this artwork because then I have a few questions for you. Okay, so you've seen the artwork. Think about these questions. What did you see? Describe it in your mind. How do you think the artwork was made? Was it painted? Was it sculpted? Did the artist use markers? Some of you may have guessed that they are collages. Collages are artwork where the artist cuts or tears pieces of paper or other material into different shapes of different sizes and then glues them down to a bigger piece of paper to make a picture. The picture could look like something real or the picture could look just be a design of shapes and colors, which we call abstract. So today we want to do some collages too. And we're going to do collages like the ones you saw. What kind of shapes did you see in those pictures? I bet you saw some squares, some triangles, some rectangles, some circles. Those are called geometric shapes. And we're going to do a collage with geometric shapes. I'm going to read to you what geometric means. Geometric shapes are figures or areas enclosed by curves, points, and lines. So they're very familiar shapes to you. Look around your room and think about what things in your room are made from geometric shapes. What things are made from rectangles or triangles or circles? I bet you can find some in your room. So in order for us to get started with our geometric shape collage, here's what we'll need. Scissors, some kind of glue or tape. I found a glue stick in my house. I found some liquid glue. I found some tape. So everything that we're using today, including the scissors, are things that you'll find in your home, hopefully. We also need some paper. So I looked around my place. I found some construction paper. I found parts of a paper plate that I already cut up. I found some newspaper. I found some junk mail, mail that came in came to our house that we'll never use. I found some pieces of copy paper we use in the printer. I found an old paper bag. I found some writing paper. In the pile of recycling paper that we get rid of every week, I found an old box of toothpaste. So we're using found paper to make our collage today. And so we're going to get started. I'm going to zoom in on my desk so that you can see how I put this together. So I'll be right back. So here's my setup. Here's my background paper, my black piece of construction paper. I have my glue. I have a pencil in case I want one. I have my scissors. And I have my papers that I found around the house. And you'll be seeing them in just a minute. Before we even begin, what I want to show you is a chart with all different geometric shapes so that you can get an idea of how many different shapes you can use for this collage. So let's take a look. So you've got a good look at those shapes. Now we're going to start. So when I start doing my artwork or in this collage, I think about what kind of shapes I want to cut out or rip and where I'm gonna put them on my paper. I want you to do the same thing when you start your art. 
So let's get started. I'm going to take this piece of paper plate and I'm going to turn it over to the white side. And I'm going to take my scissors. Now, you always have to be careful with your scissors. Remember to put your thumb in the small hole and two fingers in the bigger hole and pretend it's a crocodile and bring your paper into the scissors when you want to cut. If you need help with your scissors, just ask somebody at home for some help. I'm going to start cutting and you can see what kind of shapes I'll be making. So what kind of shape is that? Yeah, it's a rectangle. Put that over there for now. Let's try another piece of paper. I have my, my white lined writing paper. How about we make a bigger shape this time? And then you do your collage. Try to make shapes of different sizes, some big, some small. So let's see, what do you think I'm making? That's right, I'm making a big triangle. So here we go. Now I'm not sure where I'm going to place them all yet, but I'll put them down here for now. Let's use my paper bag. Now sometimes you might want to make a circle, like this one here. And circles are not easy to do. So I think I'm going to draw mine first on the paper with my pencil. Maybe that will make it easier to cut out. So here we go. Now I have a guide to cut around, cut around this line. Now, I'm not going to stay here and make my whole collage because there's not enough time. I just want to give you an idea of what you could be doing. Now think of all the other shapes, ovals, hexagons, pentagons, trapezoids, and all the other kind of shapes that you can cut out. In this case, because I cut through the whole bag, I cut out a circle. And at the same time, I cut out two semicircles. So let's do one more. I'm going to take a, a piece of this junk mail and rip off a piece. Now that only has some shapes on it. Look at that. I don't want to use those shapes. I'm going to use this side where there's a picture. And since we already did a circle and a triangle and a rectangle, I'm going to do more like a, well, you see, you tell me what it is. There we go. Now this looks kind of like a diamond shape, right? And you probably have another name for it that you learned in school. But now, this is all I'm going to cut, cut for now so that you have time to do yours. But once we get them, we have to decide how we want to put them on the paper. We can put them far away from each other, or we can put them close together. We could overlap them by putting one a little bit on another one. We could layer them by putting one completely on another one. So it's up to you. It's your collage. You're the artist. So I'm going to move mine around and you can do this. You can try out all different ways of arranging your shapes. So even if you said, well, I'm done, you can try again and move it, move them around again before you glue them and see if you like another arrangement better. I'm going to overlap that one. This one's layered. So I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Now you, when you do yours, you can take your time and try different arrangements. What kind of shapes did I make? Where did I put them? And what does it look like to you? I'm not sure, I think it's more abstract. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and just show you how I put one or two down. I turn it over, I put the glue on the back, I turn it back over and place it, press it down and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't move. Let's try this circle. Turn it over, put the glue. One, two, three, four, five. 
and I could do that with the whole rest of the collage. But as I said, I don't want to take up too much time. You get the idea. You're going to glue down your shapes, decide where you want to put them, and see how your collage looks when you're done. I'll be right back. Okay, so you saw how we make a basic geometric collage, and now it's your turn. So when this video is over, you can do your own at any time. You can always go back to the video to see what I said, to see, go back and look at the other instructions. When you make your collage, I want you to think about some of these questions. I'm going to read them to you. Ready? What kind of different geometric shapes did you create today? How did you arrange those shapes? Were they near, far, layered, overlapping? Does your work look like something real or is it abstract? Just a, a design with shapes and colors. What did you create by putting your shapes together? Does it have a title? How are those shapes different than other kinds of shapes you, you used in other art you've made? If you've done a painting of something real, how are these shapes different than the shapes you put in your painting? And what new words did you learn today? Think about everything I've said and see if you've heard some new words today. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our lesson. I hope you enjoy doing your geometric collage. And I hope to see you again. Well, this is Mr. Ron from Arts for All saying have a good day, stay safe, and stay well. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.